All right, I'm doing something I really, really hate and I have a fear of. I really do have a fear of it. And my legs are shaking right now. I'm standing on the, the ice. I'm a, below me is about 12 feet of water. And I don't know how quite thick the ice is, but there is a nice fisherman out there. So it gives me a good indication that the ice is pretty thick right now. So anyway, uh, Lake Erie, uh, the latest right now, <clears throat> uh, February the, uh, what are we at? February the 5th, Saturday? Oh, I can't remember. I didn't even think about that. Anyway, uh, as of right now, the ice is back down to about 78% coverage of the lake, but going up drastically. Uh, and two or three days ago, before we had that warm spell, it did just peak at around about 90, just over 90% ice coverage of Lake Erie. Then it dropped a little bit to about 75 due to that uh, two day warm spell we had. And then we've had two bitterly cold nights and bitterly cold days. And look, everything is completely frozen. And I'm standing on the lake. Even though I'm a little nervous, because I, like I say, I have a fear of ice, so I'm gonna get off it. <laughs> I don't know how deep it is, but uh, just over there, someone fishing. So it must be pretty uh, solid. What a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful. That's pretty cool. Ooh, falling down. Check this out. All right, today is uh, Sunday, the 6th of February. Another beautiful day. Not as warm as yesterday. Well, it is warmer than yesterday. It's just that it's windy. Yesterday was minus nine and no wind, so it felt beautiful. But today it's around about zero, uh, but we've got a strong southwesterly wind, which is causing a bit of a wind chill right now. Um, so yeah, otherwise it's, it's actually a nice day. Clear blue skies. Now the lake currently is around about 70 to 89% ice covered now over Lake Erie. Um, it did drop and that was due to the two or three warm days we had beginning of the week uh, where temperatures uh, rose to about five degrees Celsius in the daytime. Um, ahead of that storm that came in and then it just dropped right again. So we're probably getting pretty close to the 90% mark. Uh, the other day I saw a great image on YouTube from the International Space Station. I'm gonna put it up very, very shortly. And it shows you what uh, Lake Erie looked like on February the 1st. This footage is from February the 1st from the International Space Station and it gives you a clear look of uh, Lake Erie, especially the eastern portion where we are. There's Crystal Beach round about there. And I'll just highlight the Niagara River so you can get your bearings. And you can clearly see the ice build up right in the uh, center there and a big open bit. And most of that would have been blown around due to the winds. Then when we had the deep freeze on Tuesday up until now, that really created a lot more of the ice which we're seeing today. All right, the big question is right now, will the lake freeze to 100%. Hmm, who knows? Um, the last time the lake froze, a 100% ice coverage on Lake Erie was back in 1996. They've had a few chances uh, over the years after that where it got to about 90%, maybe a little bit more, but that was the last time it completely froze over. So it's going to be hit and miss this year, and that is due to the fact that the next two weeks uh, weather forecast is showing more of a bit of a roller coaster in temperatures, where temperatures are going to be between average, which is around about minus two, minus three this time of year, and then just dropping quite a bit. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Maybe those really, really cold nights, because we do have a big cold spell coming next weekend, which is Valentine's weekend. We're expecting a bit of a cold spell there, like minus 15 at night again. And that might just be enough to really freeze this lake over. So uh, next week's uh, video will be quite interesting. It really will be. It's actually quite hard to walk around this. Uh, it's all jagged rocks of ice. Uh, but yesterday when there was no wind, I actually managed to get the drone up. I managed to get a shot of this uh, wall here at the boat ramp with all the ice pushed up. So it kind of looked kind of neat. As you can see, the ice is now formed on the majority of the lake. But what holds this ice in place? Uh, well, for that answer, we're going to have to travel all the way down there to the mouth of the Niagara River where Lake Erie ends. And I'll tell you what keeps this ice in place. All right, just behind me is the mouth of the Niagara River. So Lake Erie is here and it ends right there. And just where you can see the clear water, that is the Niagara River. And since 1964, the Lake Erie and Niagara River have had this ice boom 
um, in place, put in place every fall since 1964, which helps accelerate and stabilize the ice buildup on Lake Erie, which stops preventing, sorry, it helps them prevent uh, serious uh, ice jams further down the river, which create like flooding and damage and you know, all that kind of stuff. So basically these ice booms have been installed every fall since 1964. So I'm gonna try and get a drone up and have a quick look. It's a little breezy, so uh, we'll, give it a, we'll give it a little shot anyway. First off, what is the ice boom made of? Well, originally it was made from timber. Then in the ice season of 1997 to 98, they converted it over to steel pontoons to improve the ice boom's buoyancy. The ice boom is owned and operated by the New York Power Authority and the Ontario Power Generation. They are both responsible for its installation and removal each season. The ice boom consists of 22 spans. The first four are located between Buffalo's Harbour Inner and Outer Breakwater and constructed using 16 15 foot long mini pontoons. The remainder of the boom is constructed using a series of steel pontoons, each 30 feet long and about 30 inches in diameter. How do the pontoons stay in place? Well, they're actually attached to the floor of the Lake Erie onto the riverbed there uh, by two and a half inch steel cables. When the ice boom is in position, the 8,800 foot long ice boom stretches right across the outlet of Lake Erie. And there you have it, a few facts on the uh, Lake Erie ice boom. Being out here right now, a little nervous because I know right, right below me is about 10 to 12 feet of water. And I'm guessing, hopefully, looking at the size of those chunks of ice, the ice is probably about eight inches thick right now. So uh, that's the only saving grace I have. <sighs> but it is beautiful just looking at this. Check out the size of these chunks of ice. Oh, I got one under my foot, which is wobbling right now. Oh, look at this. Look at that. It's huge. Another one underneath it's like a fox's glacier mint only the people in england our brennan would know what that is but yeah it reminds me of a fox's glacier mint that <laughs> all right that is it for another video this week make sure you tune in next sunday for the next episode uh episode number five next weekend and lord knows where i'll go uh, maybe i'll try somewhere else and uh, i want to try and get over to point i lighthouse if i can so maybe next weekend uh, episode we might get some shots of the lighthouse, but you can't drive there. So it's gonna be a long walk round, but I'm gonna give it a go, the weather's good, all right? So anyway, my name is Nigel, the channel's been Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, and thanks for watching. See you all next week. Oh, uh, ow, I just put my foot in water. That is freezing. I wasn't expecting that, look at that. Yeah, I vlog. <laughs> You're welcome. See you in the summer. Maybe it's not that frozen after all. <laughs> my foot went right up to there in water. And my leg went right that far down in the hole. And uh, yeah, I found water somewhere. Oof. Oh, I got a numb foot. I really do.